The last few weeks, I've uh, spent some time talking with some of our chiefs of police around the state, as well as talking uh, with some law enforcement officers, rank and file, uh, who are out there uh, every single day. One of the concerns uh, that I hear from law enforcement is morale, uh, low morale, and a real concern expressed by the chiefs, but also by officers who are out there every single day about more officers retiring uh, and fewer people who are coming forward to serve. Um, I've talked with officers, frankly, whose commitment to law enforcement goes back generations, uh, third, third generation sometimes. Uh, but some of them are telling their own kids, you know, don't get into law enforcement. Uh, one chief told me that they recently offered the civil service test, and although they typically have around uh, 200 candidates, this year they had a mere 37. Uh, the inability of law enforcement agencies uh, to recruit and retain qualified and professional officers, if this trend line continues, uh, it certainly is, is not is not good. Um, failure to keep the ranks of our law enforcement agencies full uh, has the potential to create a public safety crisis uh, in this state. During this time where we are seeing uh, more violence, uh, that is an additional, additional challenge, an additional problem. In June of last year, uh, we created the Ohio Office of Law Enforcement Recruitment to help local agencies address uh, these very issues and to assist them in recruiting uh, good candidates qualified for the job, uh, particularly uh, minorities. Sarah Shendi, the director of that office, uh, will talk in just a few more minutes uh, about the immediate efforts that the office is undertaking to help law enforcement with recruitment and to help law enforcement with retention. But first, I'd like to announce a new long-term project we're launching. Uh, the program, the project, is to recruit law enforcement candidates and to equip them with the skills they need for a successful career before they ever put on a badge. The Office of Law Enforcement Recruitment's new College to Law Enforcement Pathway Program, College to Law Enforcement Pathway Program, will connect criminal justice programs at colleges and universities in Ohio with law enforcement agencies across the state to mold our next generation of law enforcement leaders. By linking criminal justice majors with seasoned law enforcement mentors during their ju the student's junior and senior year in college uh, will really, I think, go a long, long way. Uh, it will give uh, these majors some real-world experience. Uh, it will be similar to a, it's, it is in fact a, a mentoring uh, program. Uh, you could even refer to it as a, as a, a co-op where they'll actually go out and be with these law enforcement, law enforcement mentors. This will, they will be guaranteed as part of the program uh, a job uh, as soon as they graduate. A couple of weeks ago, I had the chance to discuss uh, this entry-level leadership development program with a group of chiefs and mayors. Uh, they were very excited uh, about the prospect of this program. We are going to start uh, with a pilot project that will involve Cedarville University and Central State University. We're grateful to have representatives from participating law enforcement agencies here today as well as several members of the Office of Law Enforcement Recruitment's working group that worked to develop this program. We also have representatives from both the universities here, uh, including Dr. Virginia Redman from Central State and Dr. Patrick Oliver from Cedarville University. Let me also mention uh, Dr. Oliver has been a consultant to our office uh, for some time, a consultant to our recruitment office, uh, and he will give more details about this pilot project. 